Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So tonight I am going to do a sandwich pour. So I have mixed up my paints, so they're relatively thick. Um, I've got two large cups of white. So well, when I say large cups, there's more paint in them. So this is 80 grams paint and 90 grams pouring medium and in each one then I have phalo blue sorry that's phalo blue that's purple and this is turquoise so that's the three colors I'm going to be using these are 35 is that right let me see yeah 35 grams paint and 35 grams pouring medium a couple I added a little bit more pouring medium to I think it was the purple to get the consistency right because um, they were not even at all even now the turquoise still seems a little bit thinner turquoise always is that's one thing about turquoise um, I find it's always a little bit thinner do you know what it still is I'm gonna have to add Add more pouring medium into the phalo blue and the purple. Not much, just a little bit. So I made these up about half an hour ago and they've had time to sit and sometimes they thicken back up again. So just check that before you um, do your pour. Now, my pouring medium is Elmer's Glue All, and this one's 65% glue, 35% water. So, it's a thicker mixture than I usually do, but sandwich pours actually, I like it to be a little bit thicker. Um, especially when I'm not going for giant cells, I'm going for little cells. So i got a flying bug here, got him. I don't like killing bugs, but when you live in Australia, there's that many of them, they get in your artwork. Uh, this purple is not thinning up too much, so. We're going to add a tad bit of water. A little bit more. Some colours thicken up a lot quicker than others. Um, purple actually does do it a little bit quite frequently for me. So that's why I tend to make them up about half an hour earlier at least. And then let them settle in. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, so that's the three colours. Purple, phalo blue and turquoise, which means I'm going to put the turquoise in the middle. I'm going to do a four cup um, sandwich pour, because I kind of want to get even lines. On the, on, so I kind of want it in four sections. So what we do here is we get one cup of the white. And we do a bottom layer. So I want to use up one full cup for this part. Try and keep them even. Evenish. Probably the fullest one now. So just getting this last bit out. No point wasting paint. Well, you end up tipping a lot off anyway, so you might as well 
utilize it in your pour. All right, put that one over there. So now we've got the four cups. Now you want this to go evenly between, oh, wait a second. Let's add some silicon. We're gonna add three drops to each, I reckon. One, two, three. We don't add the silicon to the white, only to the colours. So just make sure, well, I like to stir my silicon in well, so I don't get big clumps of it. But you choose. It also does mean I'll probably get smaller cells. I don't actually mind smaller cells. I find they're easier to stay in shape when they're smaller than when they're too big. So to make the purple even, there's actually a lot more, probably an extra 25% of paint in the cup here. So now try and layer it. I don't want it to be a dirty pour, I want it to be quite layered in there. So if you don't really want to watch this part, you don't have to. You can skip ahead. I'm just trying to show the whole process. So I'm going to go turquoise next, which I'm going to actually go backwards. Again, layer the turquoise. Don't smash it into that cup. There's pores where I like the paint to be um, smashed down into the other paints and there's pores where I like it to be layered. So that's good because I can, can't really see the colours underneath. There's this little slither of blue that I can see um, under the turquoise, but that's okay. And sorry if you can hear a fan noise. I've had to keep the air conditioner on because it has not cooled down lately. It's been excessively hot. Today is a little bit cooler, but it still feels hot. Still been like 38 degrees instead of 40, but um, yeah, it's just a bit of a heat wave and it's not as easy to pour sometimes when it's hot. Now, just check my cups. This one here needs more. And then we'll put the rest in this one. Excellent. Now we've got the rest of the white. So again, layer this <clears throat> on top of the other colours.
and what, <clears throat> what you're looking for in the end is four cups that are very close to being level with each other in the amount of paint that they have. If it's a little bit out, that doesn't matter, but you don't want it too far one way or the other, but they're pretty good. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna move the cups off for a second. Now I'm gonna flip them, I'm gonna put them across the canvas. So. paint all over my hands. One of my cups, I got paint down the side of it, so it's kind of going all over me. Oh well. I'm still having fun, that's what it's all about. Now, Putting my gloves on while these cups sink down to the other end. Is that video still recording? It looks like it. Here we go. Now it is just a matter of mm, I've got silicon on my fingers. So I might start from this end. Drag. Just gonna let the excess go off onto these corners. The paint's thick, so there's a little bit of excess in these cups, but that's okay. Next one, I'm gonna run it along this base. So for the moment it just looks pretty blue, or mostly blue, but it will change as I tilt, the other colours will come through. There's a bit of purple on that one. Let's get this corner. A bit more down on this corner. Okay. A few cells popping up already. And now, I'm just going to bring this paint down. Always moves in the middle a little bit more because that's where the paint's heaviest because the paint sinks to the middle. But we'll get there. And we're just virtually bringing it down. So I've got one cool blue line and one cool purple line. And that one there's become a white line. So I'm gonna go down to this corner and I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna bring it back a bit. And then I'm gonna go up and over to this corner. over the corner and then come back gonna move a little bit side to side gonna get a couple of big cells in this all right let's go over this corner up here over the corner bring it back up to the middle a bit And then we're going to go up to this corner, up over, straighten those lines out and pour a little bit more off 
there we go perfect now I'm just dragging the paint back down now check your corners quickly before you go too much further. I just run my finger along the bottom and just pull up a little bit of paint and dab it on that corner. Okay, do we want to wiggle up a little bit more but not much. There we go. So we've got a definite White line, blue line, purple line, go away fly. I always get bugs, I think it's because they're attracted to my light. So I'm just running my finger underneath to get those excess strips off. You can use um, your palette knife, I'll do another palette knife scrape at the, the sides after. But now, my hands are covered in paint, well my gloves are, so I'm getting them off so I don't drip any on the artwork. Cool. Not a lot of purple came through. I got a purple line, I got purple tones in it, but we'll see what happens when I get some cells come up. So I've got my torch. I'm going to start off very high and just slowly graze across the canvas. Popping bubbles and a few cells are going to come up. So because it's hot weather, I find the cells will come to the surface easier than what they do when it's winter. Paint does behave differently in each season, so you've got to kind of learn it. It's kind of like relearning your pause sometimes over again. So a lot of the surface ones have come up. Now I'm just moving the torch just a tad closer, and I mean a tad. So if I come in that little bit closer, I'm getting more cells come up. And now you just go again, a slightly a little bit closer again. If there's any sections you want some more cells, you just get a little bit closer without overdoing it. You can't remove cells once you've, once you've got them. Alright, let's stop this blowtorch for a minute. Don't let it touch anything. It is super hot. Okay, so we've got some cool cells coming up in an assortment of colours. There's a couple of sections which are a little bit um, cell shy, should I say, which would be just here. And a bit in that white area there. The white did seem thick, so it could be why they're having more trouble pushing up into that white. 
and a little bit over here it's a bit light on but overall go away little midgy got him it's not the last one for the night I can tell you now so the cells are doing okay they're not overly growing because the pouring medium was thick if you want more cells then or bigger cells um, just add more pouring medium and less paint just to kind of make her a little bit more thin it's kind of different you, you, you expect certain colors to come through more than others and they kind of haven't but I've got over here I've definitely got turquoise purple and blue and I've got in this middle section I've mostly got blues with a couple of turquoises in there I'm just going to pop a bubble that one didn't want to pop I can't really see any other oh, there's one more bubble over here let's see if he will he's not popping he's just bobbing up and down my tweezers probably aren't thick um, pointy enough probably need something with a very sharp point should I try and get a couple more over in this section because I feel like I've got more cells over there and less over here also the ones that have come up over here don't have the same colors that the ones over there have so Let's try this. I'm going to turn it right down low. And just see if I can just bring a couple up. I've got a few more coming up here and over there. You don't want to get too close. I've got a couple more there where I just torched. I'm not getting much in that white. No, they don't want to come up in that white too much there. But that's okay. Alright, we'll leave it as that. They don't want to show up, that's their choice. But overall, this is it. This is the finished artwork. So all these big ones are the ones that came up um, before I, or during tilting. And all the small ones are the ones that have come up since I've torched. So sometimes I don't get any of these larger ones come up when tilting. And sometimes I get lots more. And yeah, it's just the way that you do it and you get a different assortment. But I've got a really cool purple line within the white uh, blue line within the white and then just plain white line would have been good if I had a turquoise or something come up on that side and an assortment of cells some of the big ones go out of shape because you are stretching and things like that but um, overall they're not that bad they're not in my eyes they're not ugly they're just bigger um, add some different interest to it it's better that they're kind of scattered around and not all in one section or one area you could tilt them off if you wanted to before you start torching but um I was happy with that so I am just going to scrape the bottom of my canvas now and get these extra drips off because I don't want more paint being pulled down so what will happen is if you don't get rid of them that it will pull more paint off the canvas and all the stuff around the sides will overstretch. It's actually got some nice cells happening on the edges too. So it helps to do this when you've got a much bigger workspace. Um, 
I brought a new table, but I haven't got the room to put it where it is, where this one is. So I gotta rearrange everything to actually fit it in. Okay, can't see any drips. So awesome. This is it. That's the finished artwork. So this is my last artwork for the new year because this is New Year's Eve and we're what half an hour away from celebrating midnight. Um, this is what I would be happy doing as the year changes over. Um, not going out partying when well, there's not much point anyway. We're not allowed to dance. Covid restrictions restrict us from dancing. So and not allowed to a lot of places aren't allowed to play music because that encourages people to dance. So <laughs> I'm happy staying at home doing an artwork. So let's bring you down for a close up. All right, so there we go. Those colors are pretty close, I think. Um, it looks a little bit more duller in the um, in the camera, but everything it looks more white. So this white is bright white when it looks a little bit more on the duller side, but that's okay. Don't know if this, no, that's the wrong way. That's probably closer. Yeah, I'd say that's closer to the right colors. But as you can see, we got really cool little cells, all different colors and assortments. Oh, look at these little turquoise ones over here. So this is using the Elmer's glue all. I do get slightly different effects when I use um, school glue. But I think they're quite cute. I've got a pink one that I did um, video 294 I think it is. Um, I actually can't read from this spot. 293. And um, I really liked the way that turned out. I didn't get any of these large um, cells that came up while tilting. But I got lots of small cells in the actual artwork from torching. So that was really awesome. This is similar-ish, but I got a couple of the big ones. But yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, hope you guys like this. So like normal, comment, like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And if there's certain color combinations you would like to see, let me know. Um, sandwich pores come out quite different each time. Sometimes the white dominates, sometimes the white actually blends in quite well like this one. The white definitely did not dominate in this one at all. But yeah, so hope you guys had fun. Have a good new year and I'll see you soon for another pour. Have a good night. Bye.